Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I am super excited to share with you a brand new collection over at the Spellbinder shop. There, it is a die collection and it also has a stamp set too, but it is called um, Birdhouses Through the Seasons and it is fabulous guys. There's four seasons, so there's four bird houses, and then you also have a set, a die set that has birds. Um, we're, I'm going to show you, and then there's a stamp set too with lots of fun sentiments that go with it. Um, this is called the uh, Sweet Birds on a Branch. Of course you have bird houses, you're going to need some birds, and it does have a branch and some leaves where the, the birds can perch, which is really nice. There's six birds, all different um, sizes and styles. Um, this is one of the birdhouses. This happens to be the summer birdhouse. It's called uh, Build a Summer Birdhouse and it is a nautical theme which I thought was so genius. It's so cute. Birdhouse that looks like a little lighthouse. This set here is called um, Build a Fall Birdhouse. It has beautiful fall leaves, even a pumpkin and an acorn. And I forgot to mention, um, in the summer birdhouse, you, the doors do open and close, which is nice. So there's a little interactive element. But back to the fall birdhouse. Um, the windows in each of, I noticed, the windows in each, uh, three of the birdhouses, one has a square, one has a heart, and one has a circle. They're all interchangeable. So if you get more than one set, you can change out the circle, the the doors in the birdhouses. Um, I just showed you the winter, but this is the spring birdhouse. Build a spring birdhouse. So we're gonna use a few of these today for our card projects. But um, I want to share with you um, some cards that were not necessarily season themed. Um, before we get started though, I do want to share with you the stamp set, which is so cute. It's called Tweet Sentiments, <laughs> but there are fun elements that go with each of the birdhouses. And then there's some um, fun sentiments that are general themed for all occasion, which is really nice. So let's grab our birdhouses. We're going to create three today. I'm going to use the build a fall birdhouse, build a spring birdhouse, and then build a... Um, Winter birdhouse. I wanted to show you a way that you could use these with the same elements that are in the die set, but without having to um, use them in that season, if that makes any sense. I think it'll be super fun. I'm bringing in some pattern papers. Um, I chose some bright pinks and reds, and um, this is from a 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, I'm not sure if this is still available, guys, but if it is, I'll link it down below. Um, the paper pad is called Sunday Adventure Prints. So let's do some die cutting. The, again, this is the Build a Spring Birdhouse. And um, we're going to make a general birthday card for this one. So I have the card stock that I'm using. They're all um, from Spellbinders, from the Color Essentials card stocks. Um, the largest pinkish one is Wildberry. And then the small pink one is Dahlia. We're going to die cut out the birdhouse with the floral pattern paper here and then we're going to take that birdhouse and die cut it out once more with the darker pink, the wild berry cardstock. Um, I do have a green cardstock because there are leaves and flowers in this set. I'm going to die cut out some white flowers and then a white picket fence and you guys are all interchangeable. You can use these flowers on the other birdhouses too. They're all scaled perfectly size for that. I'm going to dike it out a couple of the leaves too. And of course you need a bird so I'm going to bring in the uh, sweet birds on the branch and I picked one and the nice thing about these little birdies is there's accent pieces. So if you die cut it out with two different colors of cardstock you can layer it to create a dimensional bird. There's also some feet in the sweet uh, birds on the branch so I'm going to die cut out the feet with black cardstock guys. Now I die cut out my bird twice, once with Dahlia cardstock and then once with Wild Berry. So we're gonna have basically a pink bird. Um, everything's die cut and now it's easy peasy time to assemble. Now I like the roofs to be different since we have a real busy pattern paper. I wanted the roofs to be a solid color. So to do that, it's very easy guys. I'm gonna use my scissors and just trim off the roof of my pattern paper. There um, are cut lines on the roof, 
and then also on, on the bottom part of the birdhouse. So you just make a couple little snips and your roof will come off perfectly. Which is nice actually because if you cut crooked like I sometimes do, those cut lines um, could be detail lines too, but it makes it really easy to separate. <laughs> so we remove the bottom and then the roof. And all we did was use a few little snips of our scissors. And then you can just layer your pattern paper on top of your colored cardstock. Made, this is one way to do it. I do want my holes behind the birdhouse to stand out, so I brought in some black cardstock. And we're just going to get a long enough piece to cover all the holes. There's a little heart detail piece on the very top of the birdhouse, and then there's um, the door, and then you have that little perch area that has a hole too. I'm going to go ahead and add some black cardstock, and then we're going to use our tape runner and adhere our pattern paper right over the top. And you can see um, just that black kind of makes a big difference, makes our, um, our windows kind of stand out. But that's our birdhouse. This is, again, the Build a Spring birdhouse. Okay, once we have this done, I'm going to go ahead and grab our little picket fence. I want a little dimension, so I'm going to take some very thin strips of foam adhesive. I'm just trimming down some foam squares. Um, if you cut it into thirds, um, you can create three little pieces for your picket fence. I'm going to remove the release paper and just add this to the bottom of my birdhouse. And again, this you can mix and match, which makes it really nice. But I thought the picket fence was so cute. <laughs> so we have a little dimension with our little birdhouse here. Okay, now we're going to create our birds. Birds are very easy again. Just take two of your colors that you want and then die cut out two of your birds. You're going to end up making two birds anyway, so that makes it really nice. I'm going to flip them over because these, um, the eyes die cut out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the reverse side of my bird and take some little thin strips of black cardstock and just glue them to the back of the bird so they have some black eyes so that, that they stand out. I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue to the bellies of my bird and then for my Dahlia cardstock we're going to adhere Wildberry and for my Wildberry bird we're going to adhere the Dahlia cardstock to the belly. And there is embossed detail on here too, guys. The leaves had etched detail and then the birds themselves have embossed detail. So there, there's a lot going on with those little birds, which makes it really nice. I'm gonna add a foam square behind the bird wings and the small foam squares fit perfectly, which is so nice. You don't have to trim, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and pop up my little bird wings for a little dimension. And again, putting them on the opposite colors. And then we have two little birds, kind of look like little cardinals. Huh? <laughs> um, to add the feet, it's very easy. And I thought this was genius. Is It's just a U-shaped piece that looks, that looks kind of funny. But you're going to take the bottom of the U and add it behind the bird. So it's just two legs with one piece. Makes it really nice. And they're two different styles. One's a little bit thicker than the other, and one's just slightly bigger. So you have two different styles of feet. You can see here. So, sorry about the blur, <laughs> but that looks so easy. They're so easy to, and fun to create. And you can go sky's the limit with the colors of birds that you want. You can even use pattern paper if you wanted to. I am going to add a little dotted detail with my white gel pen. And so our little birds are good to go. I'm going to take this piece of white cardstock and bring in an embossing folder. This is the Plaid Company embossing folder. I'm going to emboss it and then trim it down so it's a little bit smaller than my card base. I wanted a little bit of texture in my background. Um, and we're not going to use the entire panel. I'm going to scoot it up. I wanted a little bit of flat surface area on the bottom of my card base to where I could stamp my sentiment. Now I thought we'd bring in some more pattern paper. I have the red and white polka dot piece and I matted that on my green rainforest cardstock. The green rainforest I believe is about a quarter, um, an inch and a quarter and then the um, polka dot is about an inch wide. I went ahead and added that at the very bottom and then we are going to basically, we're going to scoot it down a little bit so the bottom of the birdhouse um, will fit. I wanted, and again, enough room to stamp my sentiment. I just went ahead and adhered it 
and then we're going to stamp our sentiment for this card it, again it's the birthday card i chose the sentiment that says um a little birdie told me it's your birthday i thought that was so sweet i stamped it with my black ink and then we're going to take some black twine i'm folding it in half and then tying a knot so we have a loop at the end and then a knot you could skip this if you wanted to but i like the knot just to give it a little bit of extra detail um, i'm going to adhere it to the back of my birdhouse and then secure it with a foam square and then we're going to continue filling in the back with foam adhesive this way we can pop it up now i did tuck the rest of that black twine behind my emboss panel um, and then this way you can't when you open it you can't see the rest of that twine i do want to add a bow so i did tie a bow um, and then secured it with a glue dot at the very top of my birdhouse using that same black licorice twine okay i did take my white gel pen and highlighted the circle on the inside of my birdhouse just to give it a little bit of depth and then we're going to pop up one bird on the top of the roof and next one next to the sentiment now we have some flowers there's three different types of flowers here we're going to use one of each and then there's some leaves which are really nice i'm going to take two of the leaves and then attach them to one of the flowers just adding a little bit of a glue at the very bottom and then we'll put this flower next to the birdie next to the happy birthday and then we'll do the same thing to the other flowers um we're just going to use two of the other flowers i'd like it out to uh, three set or two sets but we're just going to use three flowers for this card and we'll put the other two next to the birdie up here on the very top kind of tucking one underneath our house so we'll save those flowers for another day Last but not least, I'm gonna bring in some black um, Nouveau drops and dot the center of the flowers, kind of creating some daisies. And then that finishes off uh, my birthday card using the Build a Spring birdhouse. Um, actually, it doesn't quite finish it off. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this or not because glossy accents or journey glaze takes a long time to dry, but I did. I filled in my birdhouse window um, with my journey glaze, so. I think it's going to create a nice little dimension for our next card we're using the build a fall birdhouse it's a tall skinny one and um this would make a great mini slimline card too i'm going to die cut out the roof for this one with my dahlia cardstock and we're going to use the same floral pattern paper for this birdhouse also now this one has little shutters, which is really nice. I'm gonna die cut that out with my wild berry card stock. And then this has a flower also. So uh, the flower in this set is meant to be a sunflower, of course, for fall. Um, so you have the flower and then you have the flower center. I'm gonna die cut out the flower center with that same wild berry card stock. And then we're gonna create um, basically another daisy and die cut out the flower portion with white. I grabbed the little bird that I want to use for this one and then we are going to do some die cutting again this um, birdhouse window has the circle and so um, actually no this one doesn't have it has a square so I added that too so we have a square uh, window now again this is meant to be fall there's a lot of beautiful fall um, embossed leaves that are in this set but i just want to show you an alternative way that you could use this um, outside of the seasons so i created my flower now here's another way to add the roof instead of trimming off the roof from your pattern paper you can trim the roof away from your colored cardstock if you want a different colored roof it's very easy to do with a few little snips and then you have a simple roof you just add glue behind it and then you can adhere it to your pattern paper so this is another way you could do it i did it the opposite way with our first card we're going to add our roof and this has a couple windows here and then you have the perch hole so um i have some cardstock on the back but i wanted a little bit of dimension behind this window so i'm going to add some foam adhesive one right between the two windows and then a, a couple smaller pieces um on the top and bottom 
This way we can have a little bit of dimension for this birdhouse. We're just gonna remove the relief paper, add our black cardstock behind it, and it wasn't quite long enough, so I'm gonna bring in another foam square for the very bottom and then another uh, piece of black cardstock to go over that perched hole here. And then uh, we have a little bit of a dimensional birdhouse. Okay, we are gonna go ahead. There's little shutters, and oh my goodness, there's there's little hearts in these shutters, guys. And then there's detail on there too. There's etched detail, which is really nice. You could put the shutters on the outside. You could put them on the inside if you wanted, and that's what we're, I'm gonna do today. Is I think we'll put them on the inside, and so we'll just remove them, add a little bit of glue, and then we'll just pick these up and put them on the inside. And if you want there, keep those little hearts from the shutters too. You could add them as little detail pieces. I'm actually gonna create my little birds and add them to one of the wings of my bird. <laughs> so for the birds, we I, I cut out two different colors of green cardstock. And so of course you just do the same thing that we did with our first one. We're gonna add adhesive behind the wings and put the opposite color um, on each of the birds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop up our little bird bellies with a foam square and then we'll add the the legs now these eyes and the beak die cut out so if you want to add color you can put white cardstock behind it and color it in with a, a marker if you wanted um, but I'm gonna flip them over and add again the black cardstock and then the orange cardstock behind it um, the beak area. This way we have a little added color. Now we're just going to add our little legs. Easy to do. I love that there's, they're not two small pieces. It's just one piece you can glue. But how cute are those? <laughs> my little green birds. I'm going to do the same thing to my other bird. We're just going to add that little heart left over from our um, shutter. And then we have two cute little birds. I'm only going to use one for my project for this card. Okay, I do have some leaves left over. I did get three, I'm not sure if I'll use them all, but um, they're, there, they're there. Now, as I was looking at my cardstock um, or my birdhouse, I thought we should add a, um, a bottom piece. So I just trimmed down a small piece of that same color cardstock that we use for the roof, and I'm gonna glue it on the very bottom. I think this just takes away, since our pattern paper is pretty busy, I think this just adds a little bit extra um, to it. Now I went ahead and embossed another panel. Um, this is actually full card front size. We're going to add this to our A2 size card front and it's the same uh, plaid company embossing folder. And then I also have a piece of black and white gingham pattern paper. This isn't part of the Sunday Adventure Prints paper pad. I actually went through my stash to find this. Um, but I think if you have diagonal stripes, black and white stripes, it would look the same. It would look just as cute. But I added that on front of my embossed panel. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now I have a white piece of cardstock for the sentiment and um, it wasn't wide enough for the one that I wanted to use. I actually wanted to use spread your wings um, and fly. So I dug it out a circle and stamped it on that. Um, I thought we needed a little extra color on the bottom of our little added piece. So I trimmed down a thin strip of wildberry cardstock and added that to our birdhouse as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pop up our flower. We're gonna add this off to the left here and then we're gonna do the same with our leaves I just I'm gonna use just two for this flower but you could you could see with the flower in this die set that it doesn't have to be fall even though this is meant to be a sunflower I think you can get away with making it any kind of a, a daisy now I'm gonna go ahead and build another bird now I used two different colors of pink cardstock. I did this because we have that open area underneath our sentiment and there was a bird in the stamps, um, the die set, the sweet birds on the branch that looked like it was flying. So I took the lighter pink one and put it right underneath that circle and, and the curve of it just fit perfectly. So I'm glad that there's a little flying bird included. I did decide to add my little green bird. Um, I glued him to the bottom of my birdhouse there. And then 
I think it looks so sweet. I am going to bring in my white gel pen and do a little bit of highlighting in a little bit. But that is card number two, using the Build a Fall Birdhouse. Now our last card we're going to use, Build a Winter Birdhouse. And so in this set, oh my gosh, it's so cute. There's a little bow that you can make. So I'm, I'm not sure if I wanted a pink bow or a black bow, so we're going to make two. And I'm going to die cut out the birdhouse once more with our pattern paper. I'm going to take the mistletoe and die cut that out with the green cardstock. And then I'll insert our little heart door. And then um, we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. I am going to um, create another heart, just die cutting that out with my pink sand cardstock. And then we're going to create, um, we're going to grab one more bird here and then create a bird with the light pink and the dark pink um, cardstock as well. Now once everything is dark, die cut, I did decide to create a roof with a more red colored cardstock. This is actually pomegranate. Um, I'm going to trim off the roof from my winter birdhouse here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some black cardstock behind my pattern paper again so our little windows stand out. I'll just add a little glue and glue down our cardstock. Add a little bit of glue or use a tape runner actually be easier and then we'll adhere this to our roof. So we have another cute little birdhouse. I love the shape of this. I just think it's adorable. Okay, now we're going to build our bow, which is so cute. Now I'm using the Color Essentials cardstock, which is a pretty heavy weight cardstock. It's great cardstock, guys. I highly recommend it. But um, it is heavy weight, and for these tiny bows, I suggest maybe taking a pen and kind of breaking down the fibers in some of the cardstock um, with, with a pen kind of curling it. This just helps it um, fold over without it actually... Um, uh, folding over your cardstock and tearing it, actually breaking the fibers. Just helps the curve, I should say. You just loop it over, glue it, add another little bit of glue, and then loop it over and glue it again. And then in this bow set, there's only one tail of the bow. So if you want another tail, you would die cut it out twice. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach those two tails to the bottom. You could go straight underneath or you could go on the opposite ends of the loopy part of the bow to create different shaped bows. I think that's so nice that they're separate that you could do that. Now there's also a little band um, that you can use to put around the center of your bow. I chose not to use it only because with my nails um, it was hard for me to fold over. So I chose not to use it and the, the bow still looked pretty guys. So I think we're going to go with the pink bow. So we'll set the black one aside and then we're going to um, go ahead and add a little bit of glue. We're going to attach our, um, our greenery that it originally is supposed to be, um, again, mistletoe, but I think it looks great as little leaves, little branch leaves. So we're going to add one to the opposite end of the roof, add our little pink heart, add a little dot of glue, and then we'll add our little pink bow right in the center. Okay, after we have that done, I did went ahead and built my little birds here. You don't have to do anything with the eyes on these birds because there's um, etched detail for the eyes. Now one thing I do didn't do, but hindsight, um, I think you should take a, a orange Copic marker and go over the beak um, just so it stands out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of pattern paper. I have a about a one and a half inch strip of the red polka dot and then I have like a three quarter inch strip. Actually it's one and a quarter inch strip of the red polka dot and then I have a three quarter inch strip of the gingham. I'm going to go ahead and layer them both together and put them on the right side of my card. Just add a little extra color, kind of make it a little country. <laughs> okay, next, I'm thinking I should have put the black bow now when I added that black gingham paper. So we're going to pull off the tails of our bow. And I did tear the paper a little bit, but I think they could reattach to still use that bow. I'm going to add a little dot of glue and, and just change out the bow to have a black bow in the center of that pink heart. 
and I think the black is going to go a lot nicer. Okay, next we're going to stamp our sentiment. For, for this card, I chose sentiment that says have an amazing day. So lots of fun different sentiments in here. Um, I think we need to bring in a branch. So in the build a winter birdhouse, there is a branch. So what I'm going to do is die cut out that branch with um, timber cardstock and then die cut it out with white cardstock. I'm going to do it twice. And then um, with my Copic markers, I'm going to color in the leaves with just two different shades of green. I have um, a G46 for shading and then for the base coat, I use G43. Now, if you want to just color in the leaves and then go over it with your brown Copic marker and go over your branch, you very well could. But I thought it'd be easier just to do a little bit of layering and I could do quickly color it and not worry about going outside the lines. What I'm doing is taking that timber branch that we die cut um, and then I'm, I'm cutting off all the leaves from it. And then so basically all we have is a stick now. <laughs> I added some glue on my colored in leaf branch and then we're just layering it both together. This is just going to add a little bit of extra dimension too. And I think it's just quicker. Um, after you layer them together it looks really nice. So you have some green leaves on a brown, rich brown branch. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind here and we're going to attach it. This is, um, the end is going to be hanging off the left side. And I wanted a little bit of room on the bottom for my sentiment. So we're going to raise it up just a little bit and then tack it down. And then we're going to go ahead, flip over our birdhouse and add some foam adhesive behind there. And then we will stamp our sentiment where I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp. Have a, have an amazing day. And I hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take our little birds. For this one, um, I have one bird left over from another, the first card. I, uh, I created a couple of them, so I'm going to use two different colors here, and we're going to add um, some white detail to the bellies and the wings, um, and to the window also of um, our birdhouse here. But this is the Build a Winter Birdhouse, super fun. In this set, die set, there's actually a poinsettia flower, there's holly berry and leaves, there is a bell, so lots of options for, for this die set. Um, including creating something other than a winter or Christmas themed birdhouse. So um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in our fall birdhouse. I'm going to add a little bit of dotted detail to the wings um, of this bird and to the belly. We're going to add a little bit of detail to the center of our little daisy and also to the, um, our bird belly on this one. And then when we have this done, we'll just bring in our third card, which was the Build a Spring Birdhouse. Um, again, this collection is called Birdhouses Through the Season by Vicky Papayuanio, and I think you are going to love it, guys. It's such a fabulous collection. It's so sweet, and I think sky is the limit. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day, guys, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.